My little dog. But, um, fuck your head movement. Mad respect, though, you's a bitch. I should kill you, nigga. Because you don't know what I'm going through right now. Fuck you. I don't, I, nigga, fuck you, nigga. Let me find out where your bitch ass at. Just, don't ever meet me, nigga, because I'm going to stab you in your fucking throat with a snifter. If I'm out at a club drinking and, and, and feeling good, I'm going to crack the fucking glass on the bar like a fucking cowboy and stab you in your fucking throat. Or I'm going to stab you in your throat with a fucking pencil and break it off and make you fucking pull that shit out. You's a bitch. You's a pussy. Yo, what's that shit that you find? It's a term. You know, the only thing I got to do is find out your location. Have one of these computer savvy niggas if you worth it. Some, one of you niggas going to make me pull up on you niggas. Because that's what Instagram is about. That's how you get hits. Omar pulling up the nigga shit and fucking them up. I go viral. Let's run up on every rap nigga that you got a problem with. Like like Takashi jumped out with that shit with Meek Mills. I would have fucked Takashi up. But Meek looked scared though. Surprised. The elements were, whoa, shit. Takashi. <laughs> that nigga Meek. Hey, he scared your ass, Meek. Fuck that. You were saying you ain't want to go to jail. Fuck that. I'd have fucked Takashi up and we'd have dragged his ass out of there and we'd have left before the cops came. And it wasn't about jail. He scared you. You the troll, bitch. You talking about I got legal issues and I'm wasting my time on troll. Yeah, I'm arguing with you, you dumbass nigga. And that's, I'm going to stop. Like, get the fuck off my lob. I'm a, I, I, don't, I don't even want to talk. I'm talking real shit. And you falling in line with, you know what I mean? You fuck you and your mother, nigga. And I hate to say that because your mom probably cool. What the fuck for having you? You's a bitch. That's being a nigga. I hate being a nigga. I hate being a nigga, man. But I'm mad. I'm mad. Get down with my girlfriend. That ain't right. No money. What a thing. I can dig rap in. I can dig scrap. But I can't dig that backstabbing. You backstabbing, bitch. Yes, you can, Pam. I got to deal with you. I got to deal with you, bitch. I got to deal with you some type of way. Success is a great way. Because then you realize that nigga was for real. He up. But with me going to jail, there's no success in that. It's like, well, he ain't going to have no money because he going to jail. And I'm not going to help the nigga hide out. Was he gonna be tense? And I don't got time for him. I'm talking about, you know, look out for the cops or whatever. We out arguing. Bitch, look out for the cops. You driving fast. I got warrants. Fucking a nigga vibe up. So, they don't wanna deal with you, dog. And whoever I meet in life, just know that y'all ran across a real nigga, man, till I die, man. Like, you know, and, and when I was 13, 14, you know, with the right guidance, shit, I, I fuck around and, um, Fuck around would have been longevity. Like Buster Rhymes, like nigga, album after album. How much I charge for a feature? I I do a feature for you for five hundred right now. You can pay me. Um, I need it right now. Whatever your budget is. I might have fucked myself. You might have wanted to give me five thousand. If you if I fucked up, just show a nigga love. See, that's the first, you got to know how to do business, nigga. What's your budget? That's one thing a nigga, you nigga ask you about some business, what's your budget? But see, I'm fucked up. And then niggas is, uh, uh, play you, more fucked up. He doing features for 500. Nigga, what's your budget? What's your budget, sir? My bad. But, um, no, nah, I do that for shit for the five, though, real quick, just for you. You know what I mean? And I can get you a legal feature. You going to have to deal with Malik. Got a hot female rapper. Geisha. You looking for a female feature? Fuck with me. And I got production. But I'm not selling production unless I'm dealing with the producers and they allow me to do that. Somebody said, 
I'm going to answer this question because I'm going to realize I'm a rapper. Don't feel like one. Feel like just a, a dumped nigga, an addict. Um, was I cool with the youngsters? Yes, I was. Shout out to Taj Mahal. He checked in yesterday. His father, Lawrence Goodman, Karan, Reek, they are family. They, they are from Philadelphia, and I met them, and that shit was cool. Uh, Chris Cross, me and Chris Kelly, we are friends. You know, me and Jermaine Dupree had an altercation. And Chris was there, so it was like we all had altercation. But me and Chris, you know, we you know went to his crib and shit, smoked up. I mean, rest in peace to Chris Kelly. And that that could be me, like you know, dealing with addiction. That's why I put up the Michael K. Williams post for the simple fact that he rest rest may rest in peace. And you know, fuck fentanyl, fuck them pills, fuck fuck that. Don't buy no pills from them niggas and take them down to the drugs. Like, I was on that shit, but because... What's up, Ringo? Um, Because he passed away, I, 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 I'm not taking no pills. Like, I would love a pill right now. I'm in pain. But more than a pill, I would like some pussy and a meal. How about I didn't eat a fucking meal? Like, I haven't even ate a meal. Like, you know, I usually go out and when I ain't got no no bread, she might even get a nigga some Panda Express. That was my favorite shit, the, the three entree joint. She would do it. Help me out. Like, when you got people like that, they, you know, you miss that. But an old man told me I was in jail and I was talking to this, this older guy. And he was like, you know, when you do a good job for a boss, they always want to hire you. Well, when you're a good boyfriend to a woman, they always want to fuck with you. So I haven't been a good boyfriend. I've been slacking. I've been mad. And I guess I just didn't go get a nine to five and just leave her alone and let her come around and want to fuck with me. I was too pressed to get out of the situation that I was in and I was looking for her to say, nigga, I, let's do that. But she, she caught up in her own shit. What's really going on? What's up? What's up, Ringo? This Ringo? Episodes? Shout out to Eugene Towns and Townsend family. He ain't in here right now or nothing, but I'm just, you know, he gave me this hat when I was home. He was like, nigga, it was like a crown. He just gave it to me. Boom. Like, nigga, get right. Nike hat. Like that. He did that. He showed me love. I was at the station. Didn't really have a fucking place to be at. And, man, Gene came through, man. I mean, Jim Dog called him. Shout out to Jim Dog, Pop Fly. I mean, niggas do what they can. You know what I mean? So right now, it's just like, nigga, get you a crib. So I I guess I got to get my bread up. It's going to be hard because, nigga, you on foot. You know what I mean? And I had a, like, I, I, I had a person that, like, when I used to need to go sell CDs and shit like that, I'd be like, yo, take me to five strip clubs. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to sell 10 CDs for fucking $10 a piece. I'm going to make $100 at fucking five strip clubs, and we're going to have $500. And it'll take, it'll take it easy as, like, however long it take you to get to that strip club, that's how long it's going to take. Because I'm only in there for, like, 10, 20 minutes. Because niggas is already tricking. You catch a nigga about to spend fucking 500 on a bitch, and you like, yo, I'm Jamal.